And for all these tests too, I'm not gonna use the Komodo because everyone's saying like the global shutter is what's making it look great, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think global shutter for most stuff, people aren't gonna really see the effects on it because most of these modern cameras, they have a super fast readout. And so you only see rolling shutter when you're doing really fast paced stuff. And even then, if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, there's already gonna be so much motion blur. So a regular view is not gonna be like, why is that blur kind of slanted? Like no one gives a fuck. All right guys, so the first clip is going to be the R5 all weighted out with IS turned on. Second clip is that same rig, but with no IS turned on. Third one is just the R5 alone with no setup on it with IS on. And then the last clip is just the R5 again with no weight or anything on it. Uh, with IS turned off. So really pay attention to the filling that it gives off, not just the micro jitters. So you see off the bat, with the IS turned on and the weight, it looks pretty good at 50 millimeters. I think this is pretty passable. And then this is just with the weight, no IS, I'm getting situated. So you see, that looks pretty decent too. I would still prefer to add more weight to this though. This is why I like actual cinema cameras because there's a little more heft to them. This is just with the R5, no weight on it with IS turned on. And you see already this, that's too much. There's too much going on. Now this is just the R5 with no IS. And yeah, this, that's a, yeah, that's gonna be no good. That looks just horrible. What up y'all, so I'm just running some lighting tests for an upcoming shoot. Maybe I'll do a separate video just breaking this down. I don't think it's anything that great, but the number one question and kind of annoying question that I get on any of my videos is, did you use a gimbal? The reason I hate that question is because People buy into gimbals so freaking much because they think it's gonna make their work look better. I hate using gimbals. I hate using them when they're not necessary. I do love using gimbals, and I just said I hate using gimbals, but I do love them when uh, the shot calls for it. So if I'm shooting something and I don't really want the viewers to really know that there's a camera there, or if something in the story calls for, like I want you to focus on what's going on in the frame, then I will use a gimbal. The reason I, I love shooting handheld though is like I just love the look of that. Even if I'm doing a locked off shot, I'll do handheld and I'll add some like little micro movements into there. So when I get that question, if it's on a gimbal, I tell them it's handheld. And they're like, how is this handheld? Is it stabilized in post or anything? Usually it's not. Um, the trick is weight. You need to get a, a hefty weighted uh, rig going for yourself. So with the Komodo setup, since there's more weight to it, the weight pretty much takes all the micro jitters out. After that, it's kind of up to you to learn and teach yourself how to keep a camera stable. You always want to have as many contact points as possible. If I just have one hand on the, on the camera, I'm trying to let the weight do all the work. I'm letting gravity pull it down and I don't want anything else touching it and I kind of just hover it. So like sometimes I'll, I'll do like this weird split movement where I'm kind of doing like an apple picker like workout movement and I'm just letting the weight of the camera keep it smooth. And then that kind of brings up like a lot of people are saying like why they like shooting with mirrorless and all that. Whether it's, it's sensor stabilized or lens stabilized, um, it does not have the same look. Image stabilization, either in the lens or in the sensor again, helps get those micro jitters out, but you still don't have that weighted down look. So if you're doing like super run and gun kind of stuff, then just not having those micro jitters helps the most. Like that's the thing that will make your, your footage look the most uh, uh, amateur, but again, wait, wait, wait. In my opinion, if you have to ask if this is a gimbal or not, you most likely don't need a gimbal because you don't know the difference. And so just that just goes to show that you don't need one. But if you're someone that's like, you could tell if it's a gimbal or not, then you know when to use a gimbal and when not to use a gimbal. So don't get a gimbal just because you think it's gonna make your work look better. You need to get a gimbal when, say you're pitching for a gig and you're writing a treatment out and you need like some kind of steady shot for it. That's when you need a gimbal, not just because you think a gimbal is gonna make it look more cinematic, like your coffee B-roll or whatever, you don't need it. Um, but yeah guys, that's it. Peace.